Hello. Uh, okay, question two. Uh, so we're trying to find out the sine of 2 pi minus pi by 3. So converting it back to degrees, just uh, see what the question is really asking us to do. 2 pi is 360, pi by 3 is 60. So they're asking us to work out sine of 300 degrees. So 360, take away 60, equivalent of sine of 300. So we can either do it from the cast diagram. So if I have a look, if I measure my angle, so if I go all the way around here, that's going to be my 2 pi minus pi by 3, so my 300 degrees. I can also get there by starting here and going uh, clockwise. So by turning through minus pi by 3, so my minus 60 degrees. So these things are the same. So sine of 2 pi minus pi by 3, so my sine of 300, is either the same as sine of minus pi by 3, this bit here, which is the same as my minus 60 degrees. Um, well, I know from my cast diagram that the only thing, the only one of my functions that's positive in that quadrant is cosine. So the tan and the sine are going to be negative. Um, so I'm looking for this negative sine of sine of pi by 3. So sine of negative pi by 3, same as sine of positive pi by 3, but with that minus sign. The cast diagram tells me the only places where my sine are positive are here and here. Down in this quadrant, only cosine, so I need this negative sign. So negative sign of pi by 3, same as negative sine 60. It's one of those common ratios that you've just got to know. So you can pop it into your calculator. Your calculator will tell you. It should give it you as a, as a third, if not at your FD button. Um, and you'll get root 3 over 2. We're looking for minus sine 60. So we've got minus root 3 over 2. Um, one of the other ways of looking at it is if we've got a right angle triangle, we've got our 60 degrees pi by 3. We're looking for, so sine of pi by 3 is vertical height. We haven't got that one. We're looking for this one here. We're looking for minus pi by 3. So we're looking for, we're still looking for the height, but this time it's going to be negative. Rather than going up, I'm going down. So it's going to have the same magnitude, uh, root 3 over 2, but I'm going to have a negative value. So sine of uh, 2 pi minus pi by 3 is going to be that negative root 3 over 2. Uh, the other way we can look at it is by going back to our uh, sine curve. So I start at 0, I go through 180 degrees, my pi back to 0 at 2 pi 360. Uh, and I've been asked to find 2 pi minus pi by 3. So I'm looking for this value here. So if I follow it down to my curve, uh, I'm looking for this value. Uh, well, I can use my symmetry because I know that this part of the curve is symmetrical. So this height, if this is pi by 3, 60 degrees, is going to be the same height as pi by 3 or 60 degrees in from 0. So if I can work out what that is, I know what that value is. So this value is root 3 over 2. Again, I still need to know that. That's my 60 degrees. Pi by 3 has a value of root 3 over 2. Using my symmetry, it's going to have the same value as this, but it's negative rather than positive. So it's down here at negative root 3 over 2. So I can use my sine wave or use my cast diagram. Either way, I'm, I'm looking for what this remnant of the angle is. So if this is 2 pi minus pi by 3. I know the acute angle I'm going to be dealing with is pi by 3, 60 degrees. Uh, final thing I can have a look at on my curve, if I continue it round the other way, um, again I've got my symmetry between this part of the curve and this part down here. So this is, swatch my red pen, uh, minus pi by 3, and I've got the same value, it's minus root 3 over 2, as I've got here. So I've got this part of the curve, is the same as this part of the curve before it goes through zero and carries on up. So this part of the curve as it carries on through up to the maximum value. So uh, as I suspected, sine of 2 pi minus pi by 3, so at this point here, is the same as minus pi by 3 
at this point here. It's just one cycle behind. It's going to have the same value. But I need to use the symmetry on my curve to say that it's going to be the same as sine of pi by 3, but I've got it's negative. It's down here. It's on. It's below 0. I hope that helps. If not, give it a quick um, replay uh, and drop me another email. Okay, cheers.